Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Many people ask me what kind of coding questions or Python questions to expect in data science interviews and how to prepare for them. So today, I am going to answer these questions. If you have similar questions, this video is definitely for you. In this video, I will give you an overview of coding questions in data science interviews, including the four types of coding questions and how to prepare for them. To clarify, the coding question we are going to cover in this video refers to any question that involves using a programming language such as Python to solve. It's different from SQL. SQL is more like a query language rather than a programming language. If you are interested in learning about SQL, I have another video on cracking SQL problems in data science interviews. Feel free to check it out. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding on what coding questions you can expect in data science interviews and how to prepare for each of them. Before we dive into different kinds of coding questions in data science interviews, I want to mention that not every data scientist position will get coding questions. If you are looking for a product data scientist position or a data scientist analytics position at a large company such as Facebook, it's unlikely that you will face coding questions in the interview process. Interviews for these roles do not often go beyond SQL. But if you are looking for a position in any of the following three categories, the chances will be high. The first category is data scientist positions with machine learning focus. For this kind of roles, data scientists often work closely with engineers to productionize machine learning models. It's similar to machine learning engineer or research scientist roles. A few examples of such jobs are data scientist algorithms at Airbnb and Lyft. Another category is in companies that data science is a part of an engineering organization. For such positions, there is a general expectation that Every data scientist has sufficient programming proficiency. Because data scientists and software engineers are in the same team, it's possible that multiple coding rounds will be conducted by engineers. Robin Hood's data scientist position is an example of this kind of role. The third type of role is data scientists at small to medium-sized tech companies. The environment in such companies is fast-paced and data scientists may wear multiple hats. In particular, companies require data scientists to have full-stack skills to get things done quickly and efficiently. As that being said, I highly recommend you to learn coding. Having strong coding skills will not only help you stand out in the interview, but also help you do the job well. Remember that data scientist is a technical position. There are many opportunities for you to showcase your coding skills in the job. But if you just get started and you feel there are many things to learn, it makes sense to hold off learning coding and prioritize other things you want to learn first. Moving on, let me walk you through four different types of coding questions. The first type of question involves some basic data structures. It's very similar to a coding interview for software engineers, but the difficulty level is lower. Based on many people's experience, including myself, you will most likely get easy to medium level questions based on the categorization on lead code. Here are some fundamental concepts that can appear in the interview. For data structures, some common thing ones are arrays, hash maps or dictionaries, heaps, sets, stacks, queues, strings, and trees. For algorithms, they are binary search, recursion, sorting, and dynamic programming. During the interview, multiple questions will be asked ranging from simple to hard. Each question may cover a unique data structure or algorithm. Let me give you an example. The first part of the question is to find the median of an unsorted array using any method. You can use a built-in sorting function and simply return the median after sorting the array. The interviewer then asks you to implement the sorting algorithm by yourself. Then you could use quick select to find the case smallest element in an unordered array. Finally, the question is changed to a streaming version, meaning that the data comes in an online fashion rather than as a fixed list of numbers. In this case, you might need to use heaps to solve the problem. This can be challenging if you are not familiar with heap at all. The second type is coding questions on mathematics and statistics. 
Different from the previous type of interview, they really appear in software engineer interviews, but they are pretty common in data science interviews. These questions will require undergraduate level mathematics and statistic knowledge in addition to coding capability. A few common asked concepts include simulation, Monte Carlo simulation, simulating a distribution from another distribution, and a few other sampling techniques. Also questions around prime numbers or divisibility, such as calculations involving divisibility of natural numbers, Euclidean algorithm for computing the greatest common divisor of two natural numbers. Now, let me give you some example questions in this category. Simulating a multinomial distribution using uniform random numbers. Enumerating all prime numbers up to a given natural number n. I have covered a few sampling questions and answers in the coin problem video. Check it out to get a sense of some real sampling questions. The third type of question involves coding up a basic machine learning algorithm from scratch. Besides general coding capability, the interviewer will also evaluate candidates' machine learning knowledge. You will need to be familiar with common families of machine learning models to answer these questions. Here is a list of model families that appear frequently during coding interviews. For supervised learning, they are decision tree, linear and logistic regression, and k nearest neighbors. For unsupervised learning, k means clustering is the only algorithm that is asked commonly in interviews. If you are interested in learning how to implement these algorithms, stay tuned. I will have some videos on this topic soon. The last type of coding question is what I call data manipulation, and they are not as common as the other types. Typically, they ask you to do data processing and transformations without using SQL or any data analysis library such as Pandas. You are only allowed to use a programming language such as Python to solve the problems. Let me give you some examples. Given a dictionary of dictionaries representing a JSON blob doing some basic parsing to extract particular entries calculating a 30-day rolling profit using Python, parsing event logs and returning the count of unique strings by day, month, or year. You have just learned a few different kinds of coding questions. You may wonder, there are so many things to learn, how do I get started, how to prepare for those questions? That's exactly what we are going to talk about next. To prepare for coding interviews, here are a few things I recommend. The first one and the most important one is to brush up on the basics. If you are very familiar with all the concepts that I have mentioned earlier, you could skip to the next step. If you never heard some of them or you've heard about them but you don't know what they are, I recommend starting with the fundamentals. For data structures, as I mentioned earlier, this type is very similar to coding interviews for a software engineer position. So you could use the go-to book that software engineers use to prepare for the interview, which is cracking the coding interview as a starting point. For mathematics and statistics to start it systematically, you could use Kahan Academy or Brilliant.org to brush up the basics. In terms of machine learning, there are numerous resources on it, ranging from technical books to free YouTube videos to Coursera courses. Here, I recommend two books for you. Note that you only need one of them to learn the fundamentals. One is an introduction to statistical learning, and the other one is the elements of statistical learning. Once you build the foundation, the next step, a step that can largely improve your preparation efficiency, is to collect some sample questions to get a sense of what the real questions look like. So where do you find them? You can use LeetCode and Glassdoor to find common specific interview questions. If you don't have a target common in mind, start with the most frequently asked questions. Your goal here is to develop your coding skills by practicing, so there's no need to spend too much time on selecting questions. You can organize them, ideally group them by different subjects using Jupyter Notebook. This is how I have organized data structure questions using Jupyter Notebooks. You can see that I organize by different topics. For each topic, I have a notebook 
and in that notebook, I have a few questions on that subject. After you collect and group those questions, take some time to come up with the solutions. Try to solve them by yourself first. If you get stuck for over an hour on a particular question, just Google it and see how other people approach that problem. On LeetCode, you could see discussion of the problem and many people have posted their solutions. It's a good place to get some ideas on how to solve a problem. It's also beneficial if you can come up with multiple solutions for one problem. For example, one solution can be a brutal force and the other ones are more optimized. This will enhance your understanding of the solution. Once you have done the three things, you have done the majority of the work, I'd say 80% of the preparation, and the rest of 20% is to develop your interview skills. You can explain your solutions to other people and get some feedback on how to improve the way you communicate your thought process. During interviews, often you are asked to walk through your thought process, so it's helpful to practice on that area. Also, doing some mock interviews will help you improve your interview skills. There are plenty of platforms you could use, such as HackerRank and LeetCode. Give yourself some pressure to solve real interview questions in a limited time window. Some of the questions, such as machine learning algorithm, may not be on the platform. You can set a timer and see if you can code it up from scratch in that limited time window. I have just shared a lot about coding questions, but the coding questions is just one type of questions among all the different kinds of questions that you will be facing during data science interviews. So beyond everything else we have covered in this video, I have a playlist to set you up for success for your next interview. I have how to crack A-B testing problems, how to prepare for case interviews, and hypothesis testing, etc. Check them out to learn all the different topics that are relevant to data science interviews to land a job offer. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much. I post a lot more content on how to prepare for data science interviews to land your dream data science jobs. Consider subscribing to my channel to get notified every week I release a new video. As always guys, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. Do let me know if you have any questions or feedback. I will see you in the next video.